We call it your take. We're taking your questions right to a doctor about the BA2 Omicron variant. Joining us now is Dr. Justin Skrinsky, a familiar face here to Fox 2, a Beaumont doctor who is here to tell us that today at Royal Oaks Beaumont, only six COVID patients. Obviously a lot of relief right now, but Dr. Skrinsky, we understand the BA2 is so contagious. How concerned are you? Are you concerned right now? I'm not too concerned about BA2. Um, I think we might see a rise in cases, but I certainly don't see that we're going to have a big surge. If you think about how much Omicron penetrated our community, how many people were exposed, hopefully between that and vaccination, we should have enough protection. Uh, BA2 is not so dissimilar from the original Omicron that you wouldn't have that overlap. So hopefully we wouldn't see a, a surge maybe an uptick, however. All right, so let's get right to the viewer questions right now. One of our questions coming to us from Anne-Marie. Anne-Marie is asking this question. When a wave happens out in Asia and Europe, will that definitely happen here? How long of a lag of this is expected based on previous waves? And how is Michigan doing compared to other states? Let's begin with that first part. When something happens in Asia and Europe, should we be concerned that it'll definitely happen here? It does not definitely have to happen here. So typically we look to Asia, Europe, especially UK seems to sort of precede us um, by a few weeks or even a month or so in terms of caseloads. Uh, lots of different factors. So for instance, right now we're seeing this BA2, which is a, a subtype of Omicron. We already had this massive Omicron surge in the US. So we've had a tremendous number of people who were exposed. So it should have some immunity to Omicron. All right, but Dr. Skrinsky, let me ask you this. We see all of these people in Asia who are in lockdown mode and they have BA2 going on there. Uh, why that precaution? Why that level of fervor around BA2 if it's not as dangerous as Delta and the original strain? What we've learned with Omicron is that you can get overwhelmed just by sheer numbers. So even though it is fortunately less deadly, the fact that it's so much more contagious, and now we know the BA2 variant is even more contagious than that, again, just based on sheer numbers alone, you can overwhelm hospital systems. I know uh, places such as South Korea are really feeling that pressure right now. All right, our next question coming to us from a Fox 2 viewer asking about boosters, uh, specifically saying what implications this has for getting a potential second booster shot. So the question is, is there gonna be another shot? Unclear, unclear at this point. There's a lot of talk from the two major manufacturers still on the table, table Moderna, Pfizer, about uh, a fourth shot. So basically a second booster at this point. Um, you know, in terms of how long the immunity lasts from that first booster shot, uh, you know, it's, it's at least several months. So if we're going to see another booster, we'd probably want to see an Omicron specific booster, which would require a bit more development. Uh, my guess is that if we do see that additional shot, it's probably not going to be till later in the year. Dr. Justin Skrinsky with Beaumont Health uh, out there in Royal Oak. We thank you for your time today. By the way, if you have more questions, we have a lot more coming to us from Fox 2 viewers.